Right now, a central city travel network is being built. It's designed to meet demand now, and as our population grows, well into the future. It'll take at least 20 years to complete, but there's a good chance you've already experienced a new part of the network already. The changes will make sure everyone, bus passengers, motorists, cyclists and pedestrians, can all travel easily to, through and around the central city. The new network is much more than just roads. It's about making sure that people, you and me, come first, that we feel welcome, as well as being able to move around easily. A team has been working to make the vision for the central city travel network real. And one of the most important tools has been computer modelling. The relationship between households, population, vehicle ownership, land use and employment has all been analysed. And car and bus movement, journey times and potential for congestion has been considered. Computer modelling has also been used to test how motor vehicles flow in the new central city travel network. This video series shows the modelling used by traffic engineers and transport engineers. We've added a few notes. When you're watching, keep a couple of things in mind. The traffic flow is much faster than real life. It's about checking the traffic is flowing and not getting congested. The model is testing what happens at peak flow times, what you and I might call rush hour, to see if the traffic flows when the network comes under a bit of pressure. It's also a great chance to understand how the new network is put together as a whole.